Oh my gosh, days I had sitting around forever. I mean, I wrote that years ago, or wrote the first version of the lyrics years ago. Uh, musically, it was, for some reason, it was very, it reminded me of Three Dog Night. Uh, we had been doing a lot of shows with Three Dog Night. I've been getting to know them. I'd actually been working with Pat Bouts, their drummer, uh, doing some drum tracks. And so I had the music. The music actually came out really, really easily. But the lyrics, God, I must have gone through so many versions of that song. It was one of those, you know, stereotypical, like, crumble the paper up and throw it in the corner. You got this ball, you know, this whole corner full of crumbled paper balls. And I guess I just let it be what it was. I finally just kind of, I don't want to say gave up, but they, they have that saying, great art is never finished. It's just abandoned. That's how that song was. I just said, all right, it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then the beginning of it is interesting. Um, the song originally started with that acoustic intro that is now the prologue. And I could not figure out how to blend that into the big down, down, down. It just never quite worked. So I ended up settling in on having the a cappella intro and using that acoustic as the prologue. And I think it's kind of cool because my, some of my favorite records are the ones that have a recurring theme. You hear a melody or something early on in the album, and then later on as you're listening, you realize, oh, that's the same thing from that other song. Oh, cool. I mean, Pink Floyd would do that. <clears throat> Dream, Th Dream Theater would do that. So if you listen, at the end of the first chorus, that same acoustic guitar pattern comes back around. So that came from that originally being the intro. So I think it makes sense now you have this cool little ethereal, moody piece for 30 seconds or whatever it is. Um, and then when you actually hit play on the actual song, you have this big fat, days keep on changing. It's just, uh. And even, and it grows from there. I mean, when the guitar and the band comes in, it's just like, -ah, here we are, rock and roll. So um, it definitely worked out in the end.